Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology and in this video we are going to talk about molecular biology career and molecular biology career opportunities in 2022 in India. So after plus 2 PCB if you want to decide to have a career in molecular biology by after reading you know transcription translation and finding it really interesting and you want to build your career in molecular biology which is a rare stream career because uh, the molecular biology graduation is a course which is conducted by a few colleges only in India compared to the microbiology and biotechnology courses which are at par very similar with the course of molecular biology and if you want to decide whether you will choose molecular biology after BSc or after, after plus two molecular biology graduation molecular biology masters then watch the video because it's going to clear many of your doubts. All right, so the very first thing that I must clear is that molecular biology graduation is very similar to that of the graduation in microbiology and graduation in biotechnology. BSc in molecular biology, BSc in biochemistry, biochemistry BSc in microbiology, BSc in molecular uh, biotechnology, all these things have a similar kind of sy syllabus because they're interchanging, they're interconnected syllabus. Biotech has a little advantage over all these three because biotech is a little more uh, diversified compared to the three. Although molecular biology is dealing with the molecular mechanisms or, or how the molecular mechanisms work in our body and also not only our body but in a body of microorganism inside the body of plants because particularly we are using microorganisms in the food industry where we are using plants in the food industry the uh, agriculture industry so for that reason molecular biology has a direct role in the food fmcg industries second in the agricultural industries in plant biotechnology and third is in the healthcare industry and we have seen huge role of molecular biology in the healthcare industry in the past two years that is from 2020 to 2022 regarding the molecular diagnostic lab of detecting SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 disease. In that case, we've used RT-PCR analysis to find out uh, the test uh, that is acting as a confirmatory test for the SARS-CoV-2 virus or a COVID-19 infection. And in future times also, there are plenty of different diseases which are actually tracked and has a proper identification with the help of RT-PCR technology, which is a direct implication of molecular diagnostic technique. And not only RT-PCR, there is also ELISA technique out there, RIA, RIA, RIA technique, Coombs test, which are immunological tests which also requires biochemists, also require biotechnologists, microbiologists and molecular biologists in the research lab in order to find the correct answer to, to find a proper, you know, either antigen or to find or any other infective agent properly. So for that reason, thinking of that in mind, the demand of this industry must grow up. But for my personal opinion, the demand should go up, but the demand is not catching up with the expectation as from 2020. If you decide, if you think like after 2020, it must grow up in huge leaps and bounds ahead? No. In fact, many of the candidates who got a job as a molecular diagnostic uh, technicians in the private sector labs, they are fired right after the COVID uh, became kind of sporadic and endemic and no longer become a pandemic anymore. So that's the idea. You know, even after the all these things that you have seen, still these people are not getting the attention that they deserve after their hard work throughout the process of graduation and masters. See, I'm not going to scare you or anything, but that is a reality that I'm seeing right now. But these things aside, let me give you an idea about the molecular biology. As per the previous projection, this sector must grow at 6.5 to 7.5 percent annually. But I'm highly, I'm highly doubtful that this sector is growing at this speed even after 2020's pandemic. Now the thing is, in this molecular biology sector, you have again three different uh, job verticals. One is the academic career, second one is the research career, third one is the industrial job career. So obviously the academic career is a longer span after PCB in plus two, you need to go with the BSc in molecular biology, MSc in molecular biology, then PhD, postdoctoral studies in molecular biology. Now as molecular biology and biotechnology is kind of interchangeable here, so you can go with the BSc in molecular biology, MSc in biotechnology, and then PhD in Biological Sciences or you can go with the BSc in Biological Sciences, MSc in Molecular Biology and then PhD in the Molecular Techniques and Molecular Biology aspects. So these things interchangeable are possible but again to do PhD you need to qualify CSI net or any other national level PhD entrance examination and we prepare students for CSI net get or any other national level PhD entrance examination you can check the details in the description. 
Now, what we want to say is regarding the second line that is a research. For research also, you know, you have this same graduation, master's, PhD, postdoctoral studies. That means you are doing a research, right? You become, you can become, become a scientist, you can become a research analyst, you can become a data analyst from molecular diagnostic data set. Or in the agricultural field, particularly when we do marker assisted selection, quantitative trait loci or QTL mapping uh, analysis of data is required. And for that, we need uh, molecular biologists to do the analysis of the data as well. So these are the different kinds of jobs that are available. Now, when I say that the research field is kind of merged with the field of industrial sector job, because industrial sector jobs like research and development is directly linked to the research field in the study, as well as the quality control, quality analysis is linked with it. The analyst positions are linked with the research. So generally when they hire the quality analyst and also the research and development officer, they generally tend to hire MSc in molecular biology or MSc in biotechnology. Along with that, they hire PhD in molecular biology and biotechnology from that particular field. So MSc and PhD is kind of required to get a better position job or with a better salary. But if you, after BSc, if you apply for the job, you can still get the job of quality control, quality analyst and production engineer in different fields and also become a technician in the lab uh, in a as a molecular diagnostic technician in the lab, diagnostic technicians, okay? So just like running RT-PCR, analyze and all these techniques. Now, what is the salary range that you can expect? You know, the biggest recruiter in the field of molecular biology is the healthcare industry, that is the diagnostic industry. And, this, and along with the diagnostic industry, hospital industry is also linked. So both of them, they can, they can recruit you. And the second one is the agricultural industry, which will recruit you. Agricultural industry and the healthcare and hospital industry both can recruit you. And the recruitment for, from both will give you a salary of 20,000 to 25,000 rupees per month as a fresher. So as a fresher, your demand will be less because this is always a technique based process, a practical subject and the practical subject, the person will get uh, more salary who is more experienced with the technique. So as you become more experienced with the technique, your salary will increase. So this is all regarding the private sector jobs. What are the public sector jobs? ICMR uh, tend to have vacancies in different fields. Generally, these days ICMR is getting the vacancies all contractual. But if you get a permanent position, generally ICMR uh, will take a PhD candidate because of the competition is so high. Uh, if uh, they will say that there are two seats and they want uh, you to apply for that, you'll see thousand people will apply for a two seat. That's the higher competition site in India to get a government sector job from your field of molecular biology. Now from that, you can be also a part of Food Safety Corporation, FSSAI. That is the one. Food Corporation of India, FCI jobs are also there. So if you want to go with the government job, either ICMR based labs uh, can recruit you or FCI, FSSAI. These are the different places or the drug inspector job in the Central Drug Research in Institute, CDRI. So these are the institutes where you can be getting a government job from the field of molecular biology as a molecular diagnosis. Uh, technician or as a field study or as the research analyst in those positions in these different recruitment agencies. And these recruitment agencies will give you higher salary 40,000 to 60,000 per month as a fresher at the beginning and slowly it will increase along with your uh, experience. The job opportunities that you will get are the job uh, designations that you will get after molecular biology graduation and masters are quality control in biopharmaceutical industries. Uh, you can be a marketing associate for medical devices. Uh, you can be a part of sales in pharmaceutical and medical supplies as a medical representative. You can be assistant biologist in food inspection agencies, clinical research assistant in hospitals and also laboratory technician in industrial and government agencies across India. And you can also become a teacher in uh, assistant teacher or tutor in private schools, in colleges after, you know, qualifying LS. And also you can go there uh, in the coaching institutions as a molecular biology teacher or biotechnology, cell biology. All right. So now the interesting insight regarding molecular biology and what is the final verdict and score for molecular biology career options in India after 2022. The preparation cost for molecular biology in India is high. So we'll keep it red. Demand in future is moderate. So I'll keep it yellow and salary as a fresher is also very low. Uh, because most of these jobs may be replaced with the softwares and the automated systems. So I'll keep it red, two dots and one yellow dot gives a total score of 4 out of 10. So molecular biology is neither microbiology nor biotechnology. 
so if you want to stay and stick to the industry sector jobs better to do biotechnology btech rather than molecular biology bsc so i'll keep four out of ten to molecular biology so that's regarding molecular biology score in india molecular biology career in india after 2020 so that's all about the molecular biology career in india molecular biology uh, career after graduation in india in 2022 and we are seeing a demand in molecular biology but it's not keeping up with the demand that we expect so we expect a better growth of from this industry in future times if it grows as per our requirement then obviously new jobs will be available in the molecular biology sector in india so for that reason keeping that as a hope in our mind we can continue with molecular biology journey okay so that's all about molecular biology if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye